Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Melvin, just checking in with you this afternoon. I'm uh, just waking up from a Sabbath nap uh, and uh, just had a few things uh, flowing through my mind, as they often do, as I flow back into reality from, from a nap or from sleep. Uh, and uh, I had uh, some thoughts about uh, a homegoing celebration, a funeral that I attended this morning. And uh, <clears throat> I want to share those, those thoughts. I wrote some things down, and uh, I just want to share that with you this afternoon. Uh, a widow's tears, a widow's tears. It's what remains with us as memories drawn from the shared experiences we know as life that intrigues me. I was just, you know, up and uh, rubbing the sleep out of my eyes and you know, I go to my sink to wash my face and I'm thinking about this morning and uh, thinking about Ron, Ron Harris, a man with a smile and a heart that only God could give. Friend, shipmate, coach, worship leader, deacon, an amazing man. And the celebration of his life this morning was indeed a tribute to what God can do through the passion of a surrendered life. That was the message um, this morning. Woven throughout everything that people, you know, were doing, the, the songs, the two-minute talks, and everything. Um, the songs were encouraging, the, the sharing of, and remarks from family and friends, absolutely inspiring. Uh, incredible sons sharing uh, their experiences with Ron with us. It was, it, was, it was inspiring. It was amazing. The eulogy was on point, reminded us that the goal of life is to know him and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings. And he just shared some thoughts from Philippians 3 and 4 with us. And, and then as those thoughts were flowing, one thought stopped me. And it was, I remembered, I remembered the beautiful dress that Jackie wore. And it was perhaps the most beautiful dress I've seen a widow wear to a funeral. But it wasn't the dress that has stuck in my mind. It wasn't the dress, beauty of it, matching shoes. She was looking good. For a widow in tears. But well, that's not what why I put pen in hand to share with you the memory of a widow's tears. Those tears reminded me of a promise. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth passed away, and there is no longer any sea. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, made ready as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is among men. And he shall dwell among them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be among them. And he shall wipe away every tear from their eyes. Those tears, Jackie's tears, reminded me that we have a promise we have a promise from, from our bridegroom, from our husband. 
that one day we will never shed another widow's tear. We will have never see another widow's tear. And that's an amazing promise. And he shall wipe away every tear from their eyes. And there shall be no longer be any death. And there shall be no longer any mourning. And there shall no longer be any crying or pain. The first things have passed away. And he who sits on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. And he said, Write for these words are faithful and true. The tears of a widow can teach us a lot, taught me a lot, or reminded me that we are waiting for a bridegroom and a husband, a savior and a God who will one day wipe away every tear. Every widow's tear. I trust you've been able to have a just a blessed uh, Sabbath rest today, and uh, let's continue to keep looking and keep watching, for our redemption is drawing near. Maranatha.